worried that the studio might be using me as the negotiation weapon against Marty. Yes. And I contacted, I actually contacted Marty to, to be sure that he was done with the show before I would begin discussing it with the studio. Well, I, I think that I, tells I, about your character, too. Well, we, we all loved you. I want to tell you, Leonard, we had a great time with you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, hey, Linda and Leonard and Peter, can I break in for a minute? Go ahead, Peter. <laughs> First Peter. of all, I, I found I found this at home. Oh, I oh have no. One just like that. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. Hey, let's get sure. really tight on that. Can we zoom in on that? I can't see it. What is it? You can't see it. No. Oh, you're on a phone patch somewhere. What all is right. that? What this is from? a this is a famous night when the four of us, uh, you and Greg and Peter and me, uh, did a photo session for TV Guide with Laddie Laddie Marshak. And we drove her nuts that night. Yeah, you I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. That was the cover. <laughs> so there's this, and oh, he's got I, all sorts of. Then stuff. I have this one as well. <laughs> no, no, what is that? Who's on that one? That's I, a TV guide cover with Linda. That's oh, me. Oh, Linda yeah. there. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> now, Linda, did you get what kind of reaction did you get? Because you replaced Barbara Bain, then, right? Well, yes, I did, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, of course, everyone missed Barbara because she was just, you know, she was Mission Impossible's woman. Yeah. And. Um, that was a real tough thing to go in and and try to you know replace something like that so I just had to realize that I wasn't there to replace mm -hmm. anybody I was just there as another member of the group and that's the only way I could approach it yeah. and people um, people didn't have a lot of problem with that mm -hmm. I was a very different character than, than the one she played. I had asked so. Peter at the top of his segment if he had seen the movie yet. Now, uh, you saw it, right, Peter? Yes, I, in fact, I uh, reviewed it for TV Guide. It'll yeah. be out June the 1st. Can you give us one line of the review? Well, uh, I'd start out with uh, Tom Cruise has accomplished his mission. Oh, you think so? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I, I think uh, uh, they didn't play so many mind games as we did because we didn't have the budget. <laughs> and we had to, you know, we had to do a lot in a, uh, in a small screen, and we got, I feel like we got the job done. Uh, this big screen is, is very spectacular. They have some, some stunts in there that, that I've never seen done before. Yeah. So I think it'll make a lot of money. Anybody here feel bad that, didn't, that they weren't asked to be in the movie? Yeah, well, I was disappointed. I said that in the article. I said yeah. I, I was disappointed because we were all written in the first two or three scripts. Yeah. And uh, things changed. I don't know whether it got to be a big budget thing or a problem, but... Uh, I know the people stopped me. These were all press people. I went to press with you, and they said they they were a little bit disappointed that mm -hmm. the original group wasn't. We weren't in the uh, the mm -hmm. mission movie because it would have added to it. Leonard, how about you? I, I frankly didn't expect to be called. My, you know, my participation in the series was minimal. I was yeah. in for only two of the eight seasons, so I wasn't really surprised that I wasn't called. I wondered about the other people, but I wasn't surprised that I wasn't called. Mm -hmm. Linda, how about you? I was. I was really excited when I got a call. You know, they were checking availability. Whoa, this is neat. Wouldn't that be cool? And, um, of course, I never heard from them again, so I was sort of uh, sitting there by the phone a lot. Linda, <laughs> you're not going to be in it. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> you're, you're not in it. But, uh, but, but we were it. in the first three scripts. That's what's amazing. You know, yeah. they, we were written in the first three scripts. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people uh, want to get to know what's been going on in your lives since the TV show went off the air. So we're going to pry a little bit, if you don't mind, oh, cool. into that when we come back from a break. But I just want to remind everybody, uh, for Peter Lupus here, uh, Sam Elliott was brought in to replace you at one point? No, we, uh, I think it was the fifth year we, we alternated shows. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, I think Bruce Lansbury wanted to maybe bring somebody in. I don't know whether they were thinking about going younger. It wasn't a, a physical thing. Uh, but uh, I got to tell you, I liked Sam's work. Yeah, <laughs> Sam, I, I like his know, work he's too. He's a terrific guy. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I miss doing the show. The last, I did all the shows the last couple of years. Okay. I got to say goodbye to Leonard right now. Leonard Nimoy, thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. Good to talk to everybody. Oh, you Leonard. know what? Bye, Bye Leonard. Take I, care. I'm not a real TV host, Leonard, but I don't have this question. I got 10 seconds. Will, will there be another Star Trek movie? There's another one being shot or it's, or it's finished right now, as a matter of fact. It'll probably be out this fall. Leonard, thank oh, you. Boy. Leonard, it. I love your directing. Yeah, I can still go on. <laughs> Come right back. <laughs> Three billion. Welcome back, everybody. You're in the middle of our uh, Mission Impossible television reunion here. 
Look who's joined us. Greg Morris is here. Of course, he played Barney for years and years on that program. Welcome to the show. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much. I know you can't see him, but Peter Graves is out in uh, Burbank. Say hello I to Peter. I don't care. <laughs> you do, too. You need me. Hi, Greg. Yeah. You two chicken to come to New York. <laughs> so go the ahead. Taxi, sure. I, I don't care. I uh, took the wrong taxi and went to Staten Island. Oh, no. <laughs> now, uh, Peter told us at the top that he has not seen it yet. You have seen the movie. Yes. Last night. Yes. Do you want to give a, just a quick review? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, Greg, no, I have you, a great deal of be respect cool, Greg. for Tom Cruise yes. and John Voight and Vanessa Redgrave as talents. I walked out in the middle of the movie. <clears throat> did you have to... Did you have I was insulted. Oh, you were? Yes. We all worked for seven years to make Mission Impossible a household name. And what they did in the film, we did not do. John Voight played Mr. Phelps. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go back through six years of Mr. Phelps, you will never see Peter Graves do what John Voight did. He was kind of, in the movie, he's kind of more in control of his people. Yes, no. There was no, con no, there was no control because we were five geniuses mm -hmm. in our own area. And to me, the film looked like MacGyver. Ah. That's probably as far as we should go, because we really don't want to give away okay. any more of the film, because something rather unusual happens, especially toward the end. So yeah, yeah. I guess you should go see it. I don't have yeah. no money in Paramount or anything, but... Uh, <laughs> now, I promised everybody that we would get up to date on maybe what's happened in your personal lives since. Let's, Linda, let's start with you. I'm sure you're all eager to do this. Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> Well, first of all, you've all apparently landed on Love Boat and Fantasy Island at some point after all. Have you all done those? Oh, yeah. Sure. sure. Peter Gray, oh, yeah. you too? There is nobody in the Screen Actors Guild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, everybody I've ever talked to has been on... on in fact, I just, I just got a residual from Love Boat. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Very good. Greg's buying tonight. <laughs> but everybody I know... Oh, El Cheapo. <laughs> has a Fantasy Island story. Everybody has a Fantasy Island story, and they all have to do with... Hervé, for some reason. <laughs> so who wants to start? Who wants to start? Come on, Linda, you start. I don't want to start. <laughs> yeah, no, he was such a nice little guy. Because no. he was infamous. Oh, he was infamous. Yeah. He was I got one I got to tell you. Wolf. Okay. Oh. A fantasy island. This took place in the prehistoric times, and they had written this dialogue for me. Well, you know, Willie didn't get to talk a lot on missions, so I, I was very happy. So the first, the first day I come on the set, and Ricardo comes over, he says, uh, Peter, he said, we'd like to make this real, uh, realism. He said, what if we tried doing the part where you don't say anything, and you just, you just oh, grunt man. and make these noises? So he talked me in, and I, I didn't say anything their whole show, but I grunt a lot. Oh. Yeah, some of those grunts didn't come out of the mouth either. <laughs> but, it, you know, I, after all these years, I said, I'm finally getting your speaking about, part. About your hair. <laughs> oh, no. uh, listen, this guy one day, I came on the set, and, and the, the, the photographer, the head of photography, what was his name? Uh, uh, anyway, our DP came over and said, you know, uh, makeup, Mike, come in, Michael, you're looking you, a little you yellow. Were. Yeah, yeah, brown. <laughs> Yeah, oh, Ron, so I Ron, said, okay, yeah. so they came in, and then I started, sh they started shooting the director, and wait a minute, wait a minute, Peter, you're still looking a little yellow, makeup came in. <laughs> this guy had gotten everybody on the set before to I arrived, say that you look yellow. So make sure Peter looks yellow. Yeah. Well, you see, what happened was, I, I was the, the gangster on the show. And apparently still And was. I heard there him, <laughs> one Monday morning, he came in, and we're sitting in makeup, and he says to... Ronnie Snyder, our assistant makeup artist, who was making it up, he said, I saw the show Saturday night, and I looked a little yellow. He said, use a little more rouge. Right, right. Now, I was the wrong person to hear that. <laughs> because they eventually came to me two weeks later and said, Greg, will you let up? <laughs> two weeks later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because we got him looking like Coochies. Now, Greg, uh, uh, a lot of people have asked us, uh, the fans of this show and fans of you, have wondered about your health because you've had such a struggle with uh, lung cancer and, I a, and am, a brain tumor. How I are you feeling? Fine. No, you feeling? I, I am fine. You see, the way I feel about it, because the press has asked me before, 
if it has changed my life. No, I feel this way. The man upstairs still runs it, and he has said, son, I'll let you know when I want you. Mm -hmm. Now, the man downstairs say, says to me, you raise enough hell up there, I don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> so the crap game is still going on. <laughs>